All right, so I wanted to show you guys a new video card I just got, and um, I've been holding off, uh, and I'm now upgrading my system to Windows 7. So I did a little research, and I wanted to spend about 150 bucks. And uh, there's a really great site, Tom's Hardware, that does a breakdown every month of the best video cards to buy um, within $50 increments of each other. So like best card for 50, for 100, 150, like in that ballpark, 200, and top line cards. Anyways, this is uh, in the $150 category. There were basically, it was a tie between three cards. But the reason I chose this one is this is a brand new card from um, ATI. It's a Radeon 5770. And the reason I chose it is it's uh, the only card of those three that actually supports DirectX 11. Um, so hopefully a lot of new games will be taking advantage of uh, Microsoft's latest version um, of their graphics engine for video games and um, that was one of the reasons I chose it. But another reason I chose it is this. So this card has, um, actually has four graphic ports, but the main ones I'm interested in is it's got two DVI ports and it's got an HDMI port. So I can actually drive three monitors with just this one video card and that's kind of a big deal for me. I was, I was getting ready to buy an external uh, USB video adapter to drive a third monitor but now I can do it straight from this card. Um, so Tom's Hardware showed me that this was the best card, the 5770, to get in that price range. But then I went over to Newegg and there's a ton of different manufacturers that make this card and um, started reading all the reviews and um, found out that the Sapphire flavor of the 5770 was the one that was um, highest rated. So um, this is the one I ended up buying. And um, I actually didn't buy it at Newegg. Unfortunately, I bought it at Amazon because they had it for 10 bucks less and I don't have to pay tax and, and I'm a happy Amazon customer. So although I do give Newegg a lot of business, um, this particular card I, I got over at Amazon. And uh, it's pretty funny, it's sexy looking girl on the card which you know it's going to be sitting inside a machine no one's ever going to look at it so uh, kind of a waste but still looks cool this is kind of trippy it's got kind of like this jet engine looking um, on the back but eh, whatever still looks cool and um, the other thing is I think uh, don't quote me but I think it's they use a new um, manufacturing process on the graphics chip I think it's a 40 millimeter or it's a smaller chip it draws less heat draws less power and that's another reason why I'm pretty excited about these newer cards um, so anyways last thing is let's see what what else came in the box we got this isn't really an unboxing but eh, anyways there's a manual it's a one DVI um, to VGA converter power cable so you need to draw some power off of your power supply and the CD disc, which uh, I never use. I, I did always download the latest drivers um, off of the site as soon as I get a new card. Um, and this little guy, which is the, uh, these are the Crossfire connector. So if you decide you want more speed, you can buy two of these, throw them in your machine, and then with this connector, you can link them both up. Anyways, just wanted to give you a little info on this new video card I got, and uh, hope you gain some knowledge out of that.